Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So today I wanted to do an organization video for you guys. I love organization videos, they're some of my favorites because I like to have everything very, very organized. And I have been on an organization kick lately where I have been wanting to reorganize every single thing you can imagine inside my house. So the other day I was reorganizing all my jewelry and I was getting rid of things that maybe had already gone ugly or that they had gone dark. Some of like, you know, the costume jewelry that you buy like at Forever 21 or something or other places that are really cheap. And even though they're fun jewelry to buy, a lot of the times they don't last that long. So I just kind of went through everything and I threw a bunch of things out. And then I had gone shopping with my mom and I had bought a bunch of new little jewelry to put into the collection. So I'm going to share that with you guys. I'm going to show you exactly how I like to organize it and how I have it organized. It's kind of like scattered throughout my bedroom. And I like to have it visible. I like to have my jewelry um, readily accessible so that I can just open my drawer and I see everything I have. If you have all your jewelry like inside little boxes and just like in the corner somewhere in a drawer maybe, when you open the drawer, you're not gonna want to open every single box that you have to see what you have inside. So for me, I like to have everything visible. It's just like with the makeup. I have all my makeup here so I can see it. I use it. I know in what drawer everything is and I use it so much more than when I had everything inside the drawer and things were in different layers so I never really saw I never really saw what was on the bottom layers I only saw the stuff that's in the top layers so now with makeup I get to see everything and that's kind of how I like to organize my jewelry jewelry is a little bit more tricky because you want to have it in a way where it doesn't get ruined especially for chains you want to make sure that they hang and I just want to show you a couple of the tips that I like to use when it comes to my jewelry so that I use it more and that at the same time that you see it and you use it more, you can also take care of it so that it doesn't get tangled and um, just different things like that. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this jewelry organization video and I hope you have a lot of fun watching it. Okay, so here we are in my bedroom and here is where I keep all of my jewelry. The main part of the jewelry, which I'll show you in a few seconds, is inside the closet. That's where I keep most of it. I also have two necklaces on my dress form, but that's just pretty much for decoration purposes. I mean, they are real necklaces, but I just like the way the dress form looks there in the corner with just those two. But you can also use a dress form for organization. Then I have some more jewelry here on my night table. This is where I keep my bracelets and I like it because they're visible. I have so many bracelets that if these were in a drawer or somewhere else, it would just be too much and it would be really messy and it would also take up a lot of space. So I have them in this three tiered rack and I really love it because I can see everything I have and um, you know, whenever I wanna use something, I can just pull it out. It is a little bit of a pain sometimes, like if I have to pull out this one here, then I have to take out everything that's on the other side of it, but it's pretty much readily accessible for me, and then I remember every single thing that I own. A big point to remember is like, with having the jewelry sitting outside, you have to be very good about cleaning or else it might get dusty. So I wouldn't recommend putting the more fine jewelry outside. I would keep maybe the fine jewelry put away. I'll show you right now where I keep the jewelry that is maybe a little bit more expensive than these that are out here. These are just pretty much some bangles that I have bought that aren't very expensive. Um, and I keep these out here. And so far, I've had them here for quite a while and they've maintained themselves pretty, pretty well. I mean, they're in really good condition. They haven't tarnished from being outside. But then again, I dust them all the time, very often. Every time I clean my room, which is maybe two or three times a week that I like to clean up my room and just kind of like organize little by little, I always dust them off. So this is like my little um, bracelet nook here on my night table. I also think that it looks kind of cute on my night table. It doesn't bug me. I kind of like having it out there. And then over here in this other little corner, unfortunately, it's dark. Here I have some 
necklaces. So this is where I keep the majority of my necklaces. I have these hooks. These hooks I got at the container store. They used to be like regular brown wood, but when I painted my room, I had them painted. And then here I have a lot of necklaces that I've had for years that maybe I don't wear anymore. Like remember these type of necklaces that were famous back in the day. These I don't wear, but I still keep them. They're pretty. I've had these for years and even though they sit outside, again, they're very well maintained out here, even though they're not inside like a jewelry armoire or anything like that. It's also really good to keep the really long necklaces here. Um, everything stays nice and untangled that I love. And again, the most important thing for me, which is like the biggest tip is that I can see all my jewelry. So that's the first thing that I would suggest is to put your jewelry in a place or layer it or lay it out in a place where you can see it. Like right here, I have all the necklaces that I wear. Like these are from Forever 21. This one I just got recently somewhere else. It was pretty inexpensive. I think it was like $12. I got it at this little store at the, um, at the Merchandise Mart here in Miami. This is another one that I also got at that store. But it's like a really pretty necklace. And then here I just have all the necklaces, the big chunky ones. I have the ones that are bibs this is also from forever 21 this one right here is also from forever 21 and just you know I just lay them out here so that I can see everything that I have that I have and then I you know if I ever want to pull something out by color I see it this one I also just got recently and I think it's a really pretty necklace that would be great for the summer so that is that one right there. But now, a lot of the times, I used to buy so many things and I would just put them away in a drawer. And then it will be like six months later and I'll be like, oh, I did buy that. So now this way, I see everything that I have and I don't forget to use any of my jewelry. So this is the little necklace side. Here I have another container. This is acrylic and it is from the container store. And this is where I keep my more dangly earrings. And I really like it because, you know, the earrings don't get tangled. I can see them perfectly exactly, you know, which is the one that I wanna wear. These are more the ones that I will not be wearing every day. These are more like on special occasions, like maybe I have to wear a particular color or something. And um, this way I can just see them see them very well and easily and just grab anything that I need. But they stay in very good shape because they're just hanging. And um, I keep this actually inside my TV armoire right there. And I think they are nice and protected in there. And since these are earrings that I don't really use every single day, I don't really need to get them all that often. And I pretty much know exactly what it is that I have just because they're very specific earrings of very specific different colors. Like right here, see I have some pink ones, green ones, ones that are a lot longer. I don't know if you can see them. The camera is not focusing very well. And these little sections, they do, they do kind of like slide off and they slide on. See, so you can take them off and you can take them on. And I like it because it has one, two, three, four, five different sections so you can really fit a lot. I still have a ton of space in between all these earrings to add more. This is also good to put some studs. As you can see here, I have some stud earrings too. Right there, you can see the studs. And these are just earrings that I really just don't wear all that much. Also, these are earrings that go with the necklaces that I just showed you guys that are right over there in that corner. So those are the earrings that go with them. Well, some of them are, not all of them. Then here is the dress form, and here I just have two necklaces. These are necklaces that I have worn a lot in the past, but right now I just have them here as decor because I think they look so pretty on my dress form, but the dress form is also something else that you can use to hang your necklaces to keep them nice and, you know, nice and pretty and then to keep them from getting tangled. Dress forms are also good to maybe put your belt, so that's another way that you can probably organize yourselves. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open the closet for you guys, and here is where I have the majority of my clothes that I use, my shoes that I use every day, and then in these drawers right here is where I keep a big portion of my jewelry. 
jewelry. So first I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the first drawer. In this drawer I like to keep all my bangles and these are bangles that I use all the time. I love bangles so I have a ton of them and that way I just have them all here and I can see them. They're all spread out nicely and I can see them just by looking in the drawer and these are all, they're all set together, like they're all in the sets that they belong. So like this is one set, this is another set, this is another set of bangles and like that. Then here towards the back I do have some rings. These are some really small rings that kind of like layer so pretty much these four here, that's one ring, so they all go together. And since those layer, I put those all together and they're small. And these are more chunky rings that I have right over here that just don't fit in the ring thing that I'm about to show you. I have a ring organizer and then these big ones. And also these have like this like soft back. These don't fit inside the ring organizer. So this is the first drawer. Then the second drawer. I have some more bangles right over here, just in their little sets. I have some tricolor bracelets as well. These are also the tricolor bracelets. Those are like my favorite. Anything that comes, especially in the rose gold, the silver, and the gold is like my favorite type of jewelry. I have some more rings here. These are also rings that layer, more bangles. And then I have some more necklaces that I have bought. These two are also from Forever 21, and I recently just got this one too. So these two are my newest one. I also have another necklace here. This is a necklace that my best friend got me for Christmas. And here is another necklace and some more tricolor. This is one bracelet, and I love it. See, anything that is like this, the three colors, I love. Here I have some extra jewelry that I've bought that I haven't used. I love hoops, so whenever I find hoops that are inexpensive, I always buy them so these are backup hoops that I still haven't used and I keep those in the little plastic bags that they come in and here I just have some more jewelry this is a little bit nicer jewelry that I keep in the little baggie and this is um, a fully fully bracelet and it looks like this so um, that one since I know exactly which bracelet it is I just keep it inside the little baggie. I have it in black and then I also have it in white, which is the other one that is right there. And then these are also other jewelry that I have that I keep in the little baggie, which I just got. This is um, a necklace that I got as a birthday present when I was in Brazil. My cousin gave it to me. And then I also got some earrings at that store. So since they were new and I knew which ones, you know, I know exactly what's in that bag because it's only two, I do keep them in the bag. But I definitely recommend that for your jewelry, you keep it out in the open so that you can see it. If you want to protect it, you can put it inside a drawer. But that way, you know, if I'm opening this drawer, I know exactly what it is that I have and I can see it in case I want to wear anything. And I just know that in these two cases here and here I know exactly what's in there because it's just you know it's just four things it's not that hard to memorize but if you have all your jewelry in the same little baggies like imagine if I had every single thing in this drawer was in a little orange bag like this then I'll never find anything and then I'm never gonna fuss through all those bags to find what I want to wear and then I'm just probably gonna go out of the house without any jewelry on. This third drawer right here is where I have my rings and I definitely recommend getting organizers that are specially for the jewelry type. So here is an organizer. You buy the tray separately and then you get the insert and in this particular insert I chose the rings. So this has all these little holes for rings and right now I think it's pretty full. I don't think I have any slots open but it's just like like a little slot and small and thicker rings fit in there. You can get these at the container store. You can get them on Amazon. I'm sure you can even get them on eBay. So I would totally recommend getting different organizers for your jewelry so that you can definitely see it. Then I have here some other jewelry that I do keep in the boxes, but it's very little. You know, it's not that much. It's not an overwhelming amount to keep in the boxes. I know exactly what's in here. I know exactly what's in here. It's my toast ring that I got last April and you know this is a necklace that a friend of mine gave me and it's just things that you know special things that maybe I've gotten throughout the years that I know exactly what's in there but the vast majority of my jewelry is in plain sight for me to see. So here is the first row and that's where I have my rings. 
Then in the second drawer, I got two separate little trays. So it's pretty much, I love it because they stack up nicely one on top of the other. But in this one, you get the trays separately and these are small, so two of these trays equals the size of the one that I just had. But the inserts are different. These inserts are squares. So here you can put anything from earrings. Here I like to put my smaller, more dainty necklaces that, you know, I don't really wanna hang up over there in the wall, right over there where I showed you in that corner, because they're small and they can break more easily. So those I keep here. Those little necklaces like this, I keep inside these little trays and the little squares. I also have my earrings in there. So that is pretty much what I keep here. Just a bunch of different earrings and then a bunch of different necklaces. Here I keep like the more larger stud earrings. This is like costume jewelry, but it's still nice jewelry like these were a gift from a friend of mine these are Kate Spade so they're nice and these are some that I will be using more often so since these are some that I use more often I'm not gonna put them in the earring container that I just showed you guys inside the armoire because this is more like everyday jewelry that I wear during the day and that I probably would want to wear at night the earrings that I showed you inside the acrylic container earlier those are more for like special occasion if I want to wear a long dangly earring for something more specific under this tray I have another one just to show you the different inserts and this one I just have this is like a large tray and it has one big insert see the insert comes out like this and in here I have the bigger like bigger chunky earrings. These earrings will not fit in that acrylic container because they are huge. And then these are just some earrings that I bought that they were actually, they were pretty inexpensive. And since they're so inexpensive, I kind of really wanted to take care of them just so that they don't break easily, easily or they get tarnished more easily. And I love them so much but it's something that I know I won't be able to find again. So I just really take care of these. I mean, I really think that these earrings must have been like $6.50 or something. And I just loved it so much. I bought them in two colors, but I really take excellent care of them because I know that for $6.50, I will not be able to find such cute earrings like that. So I keep those in here in the tray. So again, you can buy the inserts that you need. And that is what I like about it. And then the last layer is the same thing. This is another tray with the big inserts. And then here I have other necklaces that I have. These I have on the bottom because a lot of these things I don't wear that much anymore. Remember the time where the little keys were so in style? So here I have all the keys that I bought back in the day because it was a time, you know, it was a style back then that you always wore the pretty little key. I think it like imitated Tiffany and stuff. And even though these are not Tiffany, you know, they're nice. This is real sterling silver. Um, so it hasn't tarnished or anything like that, but I still take good care of them because I think they're beautiful and who knows, they may come back. So again, this is jewelry. This is at the bottom of the tray. This is the last tray that I have, but I mean, it's the stuff, it's organized in a way that this is a stuff that maybe I use the least. And then as I get higher up is the stuff that I use the most. And of course, up on top, I have to put the rings because... Um, since the rings are not flat, I am unable to put any other trays on top of the rings. And my drawers are pretty deep, so um, to take advantage of the space, that's why I have different trays in here. But it's just really convenient and very comfortable. Definitely the top two trays, the one with the earrings and the necklaces, and then the last one with the rings are definitely the ones that I use the most, and I love how they stack up so nicely. So this is drawer number three. Now here is the fourth row, and in this one I have my little chest for watches. This is kind of like a little chest like this, and you can put 10 watches up on top, and then you can put another 10 watches here on the bottom. The ones on the bottom are watches that I don't really use. I have like my swatches there 
that came out in style. I remember like the gold one and the silver one back in the day. I also had it on black. So I have those down there because they still work. But here up on top are the ones that I use the most and that I love the most. Like for example, I have my um, my ceramic Michael Kors. I have the rose gold Michael Kors. I also have that one in black. My all-time favorite brand is Foley Foley for watches. I just love them. It is a Greek brand and whenever I would go to Spain when I was a little girl and now still, I've always loved their watch, their watches and that's what I always want to buy when I go over there. I have a sporty watch, this is a Techno Marine, and these three are also Foley Foley. Foley Foley was like, I think it was like one of the first brands that came out with these cool, bigger, like bigger face watches. I think this one I bought from them maybe like nine years ago, that's how long I bought this watch and it's already, it's still like in style. It's like that style of like the big watches that now like Michael Kors has made so famous and all these brands are coming up with all these big watches. Well, I used to buy them back in the day with Foley Foley. I love that brand. They only have a store in New York. I think you can get things online, but I always just wait till I go to Spain and visit my family to look at the stuff. They also have really cute jewelry. The bracelets that I showed you that were in this bag, those are from that brand Fully Fully. I just absolutely love it. So then here are the watches. This you can definitely get on Amazon. I'm sure the container store has it as well. I actually got this also at the, um, the Merchandise Mart here. It's at the Double Tree Hotel here in Miami and there's um, a little store that has all these jewelry organization things. So that's where I got it, but I know that Amazon has it and I think I've seen something similar at the container store. And then over here I have some bracelets. These are definitely bracelets that I don't use anymore because they're like those 80s style plastic bracelets. I just kind of have them in here just because they're in really good condition. And who knows, maybe one time I wanna do an 80s look for Halloween, I can always use the bracelets. And then I just have other items here that are kinda of random. Like I have like these wooden bracelets. I don't know, I don't even remember when I bought those. Here is a little bracelet that I wore, that I had to wear to a wedding because I was a bridesmaid and the bride gave that to us to wear at the wedding. So I just have a bunch of different things here, but really here, all this stuff here, I haven't really used in ages. But um, actually, I think the last time I used these bracelets was because I dressed up as like Madonna or something for like Halloween in the 80s, like the whole Madonna 80s look. So I keep those here because you never know when they can come in handy. So that is pretty much everything that is in my drawers in my closet. Then I also have jewelry right over here hanging and this is a vast majority of my earrings. I have them hanging in this little thing right here and this fits a ton of earrings and bracelets too. Here at the bottom, see here, I have some bracelets and the majority are hoop earrings so here I have a ton of my earrings I keep them you know in their pairs here and then every morning when I grab my hoops I pretty much just grab it it has a front and it also has a back so here I also have some more earrings and then I have some of these necklaces that kind of I mean not necklaces these are bracelets that kind of wrap around a gazillion times around your wrist that, that, are, that are really pretty I have some more um, bracelet bangles these are small sets so I kept these here because it's only three in that set so those I have right here what else yeah and just just more earrings, like these are other hoops. Remember, these were the hoops that came out in that Heidi Klum line when she started designing um, some jewelry. I got these on QVC.com a long, long time ago. So I have those there and just a bunch of different hoops. I love hoop earrings, as you can see. And then I also have like these type of earrings that I have those like in every single color and they're like very similar to that style and more bracelets. So just a bunch of things fit here. Here I'm sure you can put necklaces, earrings, bracelets. You can put anything you want. So this jewelry organizer you can definitely find on Amazon or even on eBay and at the container store. I just feel that if you go to Amazon or eBay or something like that, you'll probably be able to get it for a more um, inexpensive price. And at the container store, the container store can get a little pricey. So that is pretty much my jewelry collection. I definitely recommend buying things that are made for jewelry or at least things where your jewelry is gonna stay nice and neat. I think for the earrings, like I showed you, that acrylic container works really well for earrings. But for things that are necklaces, 
I feel like acrylic wouldn't be a good idea. You should probably get more of the trays that are more velvety because if you put your jewelry nicely organized in an acrylic container, say like my Muji drawers that I have here, you know, it has five little acrylic drawers. If I were to put my jewelry in there, like my necklaces, every time you open the drawer, the jewelry is gonna move forward and back and it's just gonna move all over the place. And that's why I think things that are kind of velvety are better for jewelry because it kind of keeps the thing keeps the item of jewelry stuck onto the velvet and when you open the drawer it doesn't really move around all over the place so you have to kind of think of that as well that's pretty much why a lot of the items that are in the drawers have that velvety material and it's not like plastic acrylic for the earrings it's perfect they have a ton of containers that are for earrings even for the bracelets i've seen you know like the tiered type of things um in acrylic like the one that i had on my night table but i would definitely check i would check amazon i would check ebay um the container store has everything but the container store can always be a little bit more pricey than things that you can find on amazon or even on ebay so it's just good to do some re research and find things that are the least expensive you can even put um boxes like nice boxes you know those little gift boxes that maybe they give you with jewelry and just put a bunch of boxes without the caps and just kind of like lay your jewelry on top of those little square boxes so you just kind of have to think outside of the box when it comes to organizing and just doing what is best for you do what's more comfortable for you if you like to get out of bed and see your jewelry fine if you want to put your jewelry maybe in another bedroom where you i don't know get dressed there instead of here like i could have my jewelry in my makeup room but i choose to have it in my bedroom because that's kind of like where i get dressed and when i put my jewelry on then i come in here and i do my makeup that's kind of like my routine so i like to have my jewelry there so it's just important that you do what you feel is best for you to be more convenient where you're going to be able to grab your things and go because it's not every day that we have time to look through all our drawers and find our jewelry and there's so many times that i have things sitting right out there and i forget to even wear it so imagine if you had things in a drawer closed in little boxes or in little cases you know just in a corner you're never going to see it and you're never going to use it so the biggest tip that i can give you is have your jewelry nice and visible keep your necklaces in a way where they're nice and protected so that they do not get tangled and then of course the more expensive jewelry you can always keep in a nice jewelry box and you can always put those away i really don't have that much jewelry that is like that i mean i have a few sets that maybe my parents got me when i was a little girl growing up or you know any anything that's really expensive i do have in a little jewelry box but it's just like a tiny little box in the back of the drawer and it's something that i rarely use anymore because i like to switch it up and i like to you know have my hoops and i like to change my little necklaces and then i buy the big chunky collar necklaces that you get off for 21 everything's very inexpensive but i also like to take care of it so i leave it nice and hung where i can see it it's visible and nothing's going to get tangled with one another because it's very neat and then just kind of organize how you feel is going to be um, most comfiest for you and taking advantage of whatever space you have that you want to dedicate to your jewelry collection that is pretty much it i really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got some new tips and tricks on how to organize your jewelry and as always i want to say thank you so much for watching the lounge makeup bye